Are humans next? Monkey see, monkey too. Scientists have cloned a monkey using the technique that was used on Dolly the sheep. We have talked about this sort of technology for a very long time. We've also talked about CRISPR for a very long time. These things are so dangerous. We are living in a time, a period, where impossibilities are happening. And a lot of people are turning towards those impossibilities or the tools that are performing these impossibilities and they're turning to them as a faith. Seek ye the truth and you will find Jesus Christ. We are in dangerous, dangerous waters with this technology and they just keep going forward and deeper and deeper. And it keeps getting scarier and scarier. Because the question is not about a monkey. The question is, are humans next? Some might argue it's already happened. Others, not so sure. For the first time, scientists say they created cloned primates using the same complicated cloning technique that made Dolly the Sheep in 1996. The monkey that was cloned, it took place in Shanghai. We've been talking about China quite a bit lately, haven't we? There's a reason for this. There's a reason we've been talking a lot about communism and how it's rising to the forefront again. There's a reason we've been talking about technology. But in Shanghai, scientists have created two genetically identical monkeys. The monkeys are named Huha Huha and Zong Zong, a version of the Chinese adjective Zong Hua. I think that is how you say that which means the Chinese nation or people. These two are not the first primates, however, to be cloned. Scientists in 1999 did the first one. But used, the scientists back then used what researchers consider a simpler cloning method that produces a more limited number of offspring. In the 1999 case, scientists split the embryos. Much like what happens naturally when identical twins are developed. In the case of Hua Hua and Zong Zong, researchers used modern technology developed only in the last couple of years to enhance the technique used to clone Dolly, which is called somatic cell transfer, or SCNT, which is where scientists reconstruct. Man, this is unbelievable in a bad way. This is where scientists reconstruct an unfertilized egg The researchers remove the egg's nucleus, the part of the cell that contains most of its genetic information, and replace it with the nucleus from another cell. It's then stimulated to develop into an embryo, which is transplanted into a surrogate mother. That same cell cluster can make more genetically matched animals. We are talking about identical animals. Now let me, let me say this really quickly because we're covering this in the new uh, series that we're working on on the website, which of course is called The Enlightened Ones. We're covering all this technology and of course China and Russia and many other aspects to this, this scheme that they're running. Did you hear that? That sentence on CNN's website. That same cell cluster can make more genetically matched animals. You see, the goal of communism, or 19th century communism, we'll call it that, was to create a new man. One that went wholeheartedly against the nature of men, or nature of mankind as of now. This new man that they're trying to quote-unquote create, what will it be? But you can bet that cloning will definitely be involved. It's not conspiracy. This article has been published on CNN. And monkey see, monkey too, scientists have cloned a monkey. It's not conspiracy. I know a lot of people are probably thinking, you know what, this is, this is a joke, right? Like, what kind of sci-fi land did we just jump into? I'm sorry to inform you that this is not sci-fi. Apparently now, this is a reality. One that scientists are seeking. That is madness. That's all I've got for you. God bless and carry on.